Hi, everyone. Welcome to MHC 670, Helping Relationships. Um, this is Dr. Lustiga. I am your professor for this class. We are starting today on July 5th. The class is seven weeks long, um, and I just wanted to go over the syllabus with you quickly. Um, so you can see at the top here, you have your course number. Um, the semester is summer 2022. It's three credits. I'm the instructor. So my instructor availability says anytime via phone, text, or Zoom. Um, just like with 620, I am available to you whenever you need me. My calendar will be blocked out from July 9th until August 16th because I'm off from my school job. Um, for that period of time. So you won't be able to put um, a appointment on my calendar, but what you can do is just call me or text me. Easiest way to get me is to call me or text me and I will meet you whenever um, and wherever you need. So this is helping relationships. Here is the syllabus for it. The beginning is just like your other syllabus. So um, we will fly through this. Um, so the course outline, this class is really, this class really teaches you how to do the mental health counseling kind of stuff. Um, so conceptualizing counseling, building a working relationship, assessing clients problems, developing counseling goals. A lot of you already know how to do this, but this is gonna give you that clinical flavor with doing that. Um, really looking at interventions and which strategies to use with clients um, based on their diagnosis what treatment looks like, what termination looks like, and then a lot of stuff with crisis intervention. Um, so again, a lot of you work in schools, so this is gonna be kind of second nature to you, but really looking at what crisis counseling looks like through the lens of an LMHC. Um, so on the means of assessing student learning, you're gonna skip this on ground format. You're not on ground. That would be if you were taking classes in person. So we're looking at the online format. So each week um, you have a module in there and I put the due dates for all of the assignments that are in there. This is different from 620. So things are due every single week as opposed to every two weeks, but you have your DQs, your discussion questions, um, weekly journals for weeks one through six. And then there are quizzes in this. They're open book quizzes, but I do believe that they're timed. Um, so just do the best that you can. We have a couple assignments, a psychosocial evaluation report, a treatment plan, a crisis case study and a lethality assessment demonstration, and then how to write a progress note. So this is where um, that documentation for being an LMHC will come into play. Again, late submissions will not be accepted. If there's an extenuating circumstance, just let me know, just reach out, text or call me. Um, but anything that you that is due up until the date it is due, you can send me for feedback on. And then if it's in um, on the due date, then I'll correct it and you'll have um, you know opportunities to make up any work that you need. So the required text for this, the professional counseling, a process guide to helping, elements of crisis intervention, crisis and how to respond to them, and a clinician's thesaurus, the guide to conducting interviews and writing psychological reports. I really recommend this clinician's thesaurus. This is gonna be really helpful for those of you that haven't written a psychological report before. Um, all your suggested readings will be in Blackboard. Uh, let's see, do, do, do. Down to the assignments. Um, so here's the required assignments. This is kind of your, there's two big assignments. The first one is a case study. So you're going to be introduced to a client named Leo. Um, you're going to have a long case study of Leo um, and you're going to have to do a bunch of um, tasks with Leo. So the key to doing the case study with Leo is to remember that take it as face value. Like everything that is said to you, assume that to be true. Um, so you're going to read the case study. You're going to conceptualize Leo's presenting problems and strengths. You're going to complete a psychosocial evaluation worksheet. You're going to write a psychosocial evaluation report in narrative form. You're going to complete an initial treatment plan. And then you're going to develop a preliminary diagnosis. So this is old. You're not going to use Axis 1 through 4, of course. Um, but you're going to use the DSM-5 diagnostic criteria just like you do in psychopathology class. And then you're going to write an initial treatment plan. The second assignment is a clinical interview demonstration. So I am going to pair you up um, this week and you'll practice completing a clinical interview with a classmate. So I will send you an email um, to pair you up. And then you have a lethality demonstration and progress note. So again, you'll be paired up with the same person and you're going to each um, conduct a lethality assessment with each other. 
The way that you can do this is you can do it through Zoom. So you just go into your Zoom and you hit record and then I'll be able to see both of you, um, you know, both people um, participating in the Zoom and then you'll upload that video into Blackboard. If you need more help with that, I'm happy to um, set up a quick Zoom to walk you through it or again, text or call me and we'll, we'll walk you through it. So all the dates in here are updated and correct. It tells you exactly what you need to do for each one of the dates. Um, and here are the KCREP standards. So if you have any questions, please reach out anytime. Thanks.